grant you, I, now I like to personalize these scriptures. This is one of the scriptures I pray very often over my life. That God will grant me according to the riches. So you see the word riches there? The riches of what? His glory. It's not necessarily referring to cash every time it says riches. Our minds have been programmed to think just about money. You'll be limiting that scripture if you restrict it to cash alone. It's bigger than that. It's weightier. It's greater than that. That God grant me according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in my inner man. So it is part of the riches of the glory of Christ that we be supplied divine strength in our spirits. Wow. Philippians 4 and verse 19. But my God shall supply all my needs according to what? His riches in glory. Now, so why does the Bible say that Jesus became poor, that through his poverty we might be made rich? He's becoming Paul talks about reducing himself. Don't forget when he was praying in John 17, he said he made reference to the glory he had with God before he came. There was a glory. Philippians chapter 2 describing him, talks about him stripping himself of that glory and dying a common death on the cross. Okay now, so Paul captures it by saying he became poor, not physical poverty, meaning he stripped himself of all that glory. The Bible says he was equal with God, and he is equal with God. Hallelujah. Yet he stripped himself of that glory, came as a man, walked the earth as a man. He didn't do anything as God in his earthly walk. Because it was a pattern, so if he did it as God, then it would be difficult for him to be the firstborn amongst many brethren. Meaning we won't be able to do what he has done because he's in a different class than us. Praise God. So he came and lived as a man. He was a pattern son. And the Bible says we conform to his image. So we follow his footsteps like another scripture says, in the steps of Jesus, in the steps of Christ. So becoming poor means he stripped himself of his glory as God and came and died like a common man. Now how did we become rich then? That God will grant you, you just see, see the riches being dished out to us. That God will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in your inner man. That is a part of the riches. My God will supply all your need according to his riches. Don't forget that your needs are not, rest are not restricted to money alone. You need healing, you need protection, you need this, you need that, you need that. They are all in a package of the riches of his glory. Amen. So we became rich because his death gave us an inheritance. An unquantifiable inheritance. He has blessed us, Ephesians 1 verse 3, with all blessings in heavenly places, with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have an unquantifiable measure of his blessing as a result of him coming to die for us. Hallelujah. 